Hello all, this video is on inbuilt debugging tools in DWIN DGS software. This will help you analyze hex data from, for example, variable icon, data variables, and artistic variables, which will help you coding with any microcontroller. Here we have a 4.3 inch resistive type, 800 by 480 pixels uh, display. To the left hand side is a TTL pins, RX2, TX2. To the right hand side is the SD card slot. Yeah. This type of USB to TTL is required and an external power supply is required for this demo. First let us connect the power source 5 volt to 5 volt and ground to ground and the RX2 is connected to TX of USB to TTL and the TX2 is connected to RX of TTL and ground to ground and plug in the USB to TTL to PC. This is the setup. Now let us open the DGS software, set the pixels 800 by 480 and uh, the location of the project and add the images we have three images for sample note on the numbering of the images 0, 0, 0, 001 0, 02 now let us create the icl file all images should be converted to icl now use this digger software icl tool add the images and then convert the images to icl store it as 32.icl inside dwin underscore set folder now we have some uh, icons, uh, select these icons and uh, create another ICL image tool, image uh, file and store it as 42.icl and for artistic variables icons store it as 48.icl. So these three types of uh, files let us store as the device is 16 MB flash memory allocation is from 0 to 63 ICL files and also we have to store the 0.hzk file that is a font file inside dwin underscore set folder in the first image let us uh, add a picture animation display and to the right hand side settings the start uh, icon should be 0 and the end icon is 1 and RTC let us set it as 200 millisecond into 8 millisecond maximum is 255 so idea is when you power on the device it will after uh, the delay of RTC it will land on the first image on the first image let us add an a data variable display uh, to the right hand side settings let us provide the VP address it is very important as uh, programming is done against the VP address VP address let us provide as 2000 color let us select and font ID is 0 size let us select as 4040 alignment is center and the integer variable three digits and for touch control let us add an incremental adjustment over the arrow marks for up arrow and down arrow the vp should be same as that of the data variable so when we click the arrow the data variable will change the data and enable do not forget to enable data variable display upload data variable display provide the same vp address adjustment method is plus plus and uh, lower limit is zero upper limit is um, let us make it as 20 so that it will change from 0 to 20 same way for download arrow same vp provide and then uh, do the settings and for uh, touch icon to the other page switching let us uh, uh, do the basic touch enable from 2 to 3 image and uh, 3 to 2 pages and on the first page let us add an icon display variable icon display at the bottom where you see one two three four below that you add an uh, uh, variable icon let us provide the vps 2500 icon file let us select it as 42.icl minimum is zero and maximum as one so these two icons will vary first uh, zero means there is a red uh, icon a red power off icon and for one let us select the power on icon that icon ID you have to select accordingly and uh, we have to add touch uh, before that let us add another variable icon in that let us add the uh, uh, let us provide the VP address as uh, 2700 and uh, minimum ID is that uh, audio off and uh, maximum ID the audio on Next, we will add the uh, touch icon. Only against the touch, this should vary. 
but before that uh, uh, when you click we see the uh, icon images bigger in size so to correct this let us use irfan view software open the uh, png file inside the uh, irfan view and uh, select resize image and uh, change it to width 80 and height uh, 60 according uh, to your need and save it inside a folder like the change the other icon also there is a audio uh, green icon also using the airphone view software resize the image to the required uh, size that is smaller size so that the icon is uh, uh, easily it will fit on the image now we have to re recreate regenerate the icl so select this uh, images again using icl tool and then uh, generate icl store it as 42.icl that is we are replacing the 42.icl file after uh, resizing the icons let us add the variable icon again below the uh, number 2 let us provide the vps2700 and select the icon file now newly generated 42.icl and uh, icon id minimum as 0 and maximum as 1 and select the proper icons that is a uh, uh, red audio and uh, green audio now if you click on the image i variable icon you can see the image is uh, uh, resized now we have to add the touch for that use incremental adjustment on the first variable icon draw the incremental adjustment and then to the settings to the right hand side uh, provide the same VP as that of the uh, variable icon for the first variable icon 2500 we have provided so for the touch also same uh, uh, VP and then do not forget to enable data uploading and uh, adjustment method is plus plus and adjustment step length is 1 lower limit is 0 and the uh, upper limit is 1 so only these two icons are varying same way do it for the other variable icon but uh, the touch position let us provide over the number two so we can provide on the same icon also or on a different place so this vp should be same as that of the variable icon 2700 adjustment method plus plus and the step length is one lower limit zero upper limit is one save this and from uh, display you can view review uh, preview preview window will open now clicking on variable icon changes the icon so it is working as per the design so variable icon uh, settings are over now let us see the artistic variable this is also same like variable icon but slightly different now from uh, icon display click on uh, artistic variable and uh, draw a box below uh, number four to the right hand side setting let us provide the vp let us provide the vp as uh, 2800 icon selected as 48.icl as we have stored the icons uh, for artistic variable there and the only we have to select the start icon let us select it as zero and to the bottom uh, set the alignment as uh, center now we have to provide the uh, a touch effect for that click on incremental adjustment and draw a box over number four as you're going to provide touch facility there and to the right hand side setting enable data upload and provide the same vp 2800 and adjustment method plus plus and the lower limit is zero and upper limit is let us say 20 so it will vary from zero to 20. next we'll provide a variable icon on the top of the data variable in this variable icon we will be changing uh, three images that is a we have three icons low normal and high these three icons will be varying according to the hex data so let us provide this variable icon vps2900 and select this icon ids that is minimum as zero and maximum as two so three these three icons we are going to vary and for uh, touch effect we have to create some images so that when we press on a button for example when we press on this arrow the uh, image background image changes for uh, for giving an effect so draw a basic touch over this up arrow and take a screenshot i'm using pic software for taking the 
uh, screenshot where we can resize resize this image to the to match the resolution of the display which is 800 by 480 and save this file uh, save this image same way for the down air also we have to create one uh, uh, effect image so shift this uh, basic touch over the down arrow take a screenshot and resize it to 800 by 480 similarly we will provide for the uh, variable icon over uh, touch 4 so transfer this basic touch over this 4 take a screenshot resize it to 800 by 480 so these three images we have added now let us copy this uh, image into our project and rename it so the naming of the images should start from 00 00, 00, 00 01 0, 02 like that so let us name the uh, rename the images we have captured now and then we have to regenerate the icl file so dig software will understand only the icl files for that go to digus and uh, select the icl tool before that copy this uh, images to your project all this uh, renamed uh, images to the project by clicking on the plus symbol now go to the display and then dig a software and icl tool click on add images add all these background images and then generate ICL. Now store it as 32.icl. That is, we are replacing the 32.icl into the inside the dvn underscore set folder. Now we have to set the button effect. Over the click on the touch for uh, four to the right hand side. Uh, click on set against the button effect and uh, select the image where you want to land on same way do it for uh, the up arrow and the down arrow that is we are setting the image while clicking on the button now let us see the uh, save this and then from display click on preview now if you click on the up arrow you can see the uh, clicking effect so that you will know that the button is being clicked same way for down arrow and for the button 4 Next, we'll see the debugging tools in Diga software. On the top, you can see a debug button, and also from the preview window, there are record and debug buttons. The setup required is the USB to TTL should be plugged onto the PC. And this is very important so that we get a port. Now, from the preview window, select the port number of the USB to TTL, select the baud rate as 9600, and then open the port. Now, click on record. This button is required for reading from the DWIN display. Now click on the variable icon, first variable icon, you get some serial of uh, X data. It is 5A A5, which is the header, 06 is uh, data, 83 is read and 2500 is the BP address of the variable icon. 01 is the number of bytes, uh, we, number of words we read, that is 0001 is the data. Next we click on the second uh, variable icon, which is 2700 uh, VP address. So we get the VP address and also the data. Now let us click on the artistic variable now the artistic variable vp is 2900 so we get 2900 and then the data 0102 according to the click the data is varying so this is very helpful for writing code what is the hex data is coming let us use the up arrow click on the up arrow here the data variable uh, vp is 2000 and the data is changing accordingly 010203 according to the click of the arrows so this is for uh, reading from DWIN display. This is record button. Record uh, button. Next, we'll see the debug button to write to the display. For this, we have to copy the DWIN underscore set folder using SD card. We are using the micro SD card to copy the folder and uh, plug it onto the display and power power on the display. You can see the blue screen uh, displaying the all the files being down downloaded. The hzk file, font file will take some time, other files will download immediately. These are the files downloaded. Now remove the SD card from the slot. Before that, switch off the power. Always switch off the power and then remove the SD card. 
switch back the power on now the project has been transferred to the display devin display the display is working as per the design the data variable the artistic variables the variable icon everything is working and also the page switch now let us see the uh, debug tool of the software for this this setup the usb to ttl should be connected to the hardware and then plug into the uh, pc now click on debug tool from the degas software a separate window will open at the bottom side this can be done from the preview window also but we'll uh, use the debug button directly a separate uh, uh, window will open at the bottom you can see the port number and the baud rate now click on open port now the port has been connected and uh, you can see read vp and write vp at the bottom on the on the top also you can provide the vp address and the data now let us select write vp and uh, at the bottom you see and provide the vp address 2000 is the vp address of the data variable let us write data 000a always write in uh, words not bytes that is two bytes of data so this is the way, uh, hex data to write that is generated from the debug tool for a a5 0 5 a2 is write and 2000 is the vp address 000a is the data to write now let us send the data to 0005 and then click on send the data has changed to 0005 now let us read the data that has been written to the uh, data variable for this on the top the second one read variable address in here you provide the vp address 2000 and then a space and then the number of uh, word to read that is 01 that is two bytes to read you get the result as 0005 that has been written previously onto data variable now let's click on reset cpu just click on send automatically the code will be sent for afi 0382 404b is for reset you can see the display being reset this code hex codes can be used in your code uh, for generating the hex code use this debug window now to read the page id uh, click on uh, read current page id that is a 0014 is the code for reading the page id it shows 01 is the result that is in first page to change the page use the 0084 so the hex code can be generated easily from the debug uh, window and you can use this hex array codes in your uh, arduino code or any other microcontroller so it is very easy to get the hex code now let us see the uh, how to change the variable icon that is a, a different icon according to the data we have three icons here normal icon zero low is one and the high is two uh, in the vp address 2900 now let us send the hex code to change the icons according to the hex code for this you have to write the vp address on the top and then provide the data as 0003 2900 is the vp 0003 means no icon only three icons we have 03 is uh, not defined so the display will vanish for normal you have to send 0000 that is the first icon is displayed the next icon you send 0002 now the high icon will display like this you can change the uh, icon id and then the variable address where to write thank you for your watching